Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Debbie and today we are going to be working on this cute little clutch bag and um, if you haven't seen my previous video, I worked on the key fobs. So now I'm going to make the clutch bags for these key fobs and coordinating um, fabric. So I did this one first to test it out the pattern make sure that I knew how to do it correctly and I did it has a zipper it has lining really cute and it has this elastic here to attach the key fob to it and as you can see it has two different types of fabric and then of course the yellow here to go with the yellow inside I got it really cute with the red stitching so what you will need for this project is of course the embroidery pattern uploaded to your machine. I have a PE800 Brother machine. I'm going to be using that in a 5x7 hoop with um, tearaway stabilizer. That's what I'm going to be using on the machine itself. And then the fabrics, you're going to need three for the outside of the bag and then let me pull up. I chose red for this I mean red for this the inside of this bag so this is gonna be my lining color and I also gonna need some stabilizer to iron on to the fabric pieces that is the outside of the bag to give it a more um, sturdy feel to the bag also you're gonna need zippers I have these had these different colors in my stash so I'm gonna use what I have I have to buy more because I don't have enough but I'm gonna start with my bags anyway so for this red one, I'm going to use this white one and then I'm just going to show you that I have all my fabric ready to go. I put the stabilizer on it. This is the only one that I didn't do so I can show you what you needed. But as you can see, I have them ready and then I also have my lining colors ready. I need to cut it down to size. So I'm practic practically ready. I just need to get more zippers and that's it. So I can finish these up to um, get ready to sell at the pop-up shop. So if you want to see how I make the bag, please stay tuned in the next clip. All right, so the first thing you want to do is iron the stabilizer on. I think that's what it's called. Stabilizer. It has a shiny side. I don't know if you can see that. Um, yeah, there you go. It has a shiny side and then a uh, regular side. So you want to put the shiny side down on the wrong side of the fabric so it could um, stick there and just press it a little bit and it sticks right away. And then you want to fold it over and just fold it and iron it to get it ready to put to the machine so that piece is ready the next one uh, I believe this one goes with this one no, this one goes with this one with this one I want to take it put it here like this remember shiny side down so it can stick to your fabric and I just like to just give it a little bit of a press so it doesn't move when I fold this over so it can stay in place and then I go over it really good because it's, it's not as easy to iron that as it is the fabric instead. So that's why I'm, I do, I'm doing it that way. So those two pieces are ready. I'm sure that this is... And then this piece, which I think I cut too short, but we'll see. This is going to be the back of the bag. So this one, we're going to cover the whole entire thing. This is going to be the front of the bag. So it goes like that. And then touch it a little bit and then turn it over and press and now we have the fabrics ready for the upside of the bag all right so I cut down my lining parts I'm just gonna give them a press so they can be nice and flat for the machine because you have to add this to the back of the hoop so you want it to be <coughs> as flat as possible so it doesn't move when you add it to the machine. 
This one I have to fold in half because this is going to, I want to do double fabric on the bag. This doesn't need stabilizer, by the way. The fabric doesn't, I mean the lining doesn't need stabilizer. So I'm going to fold this in half and this one as well. This is the, for the, for the front of the clutch bag of the hoop. This is being on the front. These two pieces here, just the same way as the, the outside fabrics. I'm gonna go like that. Those two like that. And then this is the back of the bag. This is gonna be the lining for the inside of the bag. So we have those ready. We can put away our iron, turn it off, and head to the machine. I have my um, my file ready, see to go. My machine is threaded. Open this up. I got white thread on there. I have all of my things ready. Oh, I also forgot to mention that we're gonna need some little cuts, about three by four, four by four pieces for the front of the bag. I forgot to mention that, which is these little parts right here, these little yellow parts. So you're gonna need that, no um, stabilizer on it. Okay, and we're gonna start with this first step, which is the tack down stitch, I think is what it's called, right? It makes the outline for where you have to place your, your fabric. That's the first step. So I'm just gonna bring down my, my um, foot and I'm going to press start so you can do that tack down st stitch. That's the first part. And what I'm doing is I'm also making a TikTok at the same time, just so you know. This is where you're gonna align your zipper part. This is the next step, the zipper. So you're gonna put it right in between these three right here. You're gonna line it right in the center of those three lines. One, two, and three. My battery's already flashing. So here's my zipper. I'm using black. The other colors I have are pink, so I have to wait to finish my um, other bags because I have I ordered my slippers, so I have to wait for them to come in the mail. I have plenty of time though. My pop up is not until the 25th, and today's what? What's the lift date? The 12th. So I have plenty of time, like two weeks. All right. So you put your zipper there, and you put your footer down. And I lined it up correctly where I want it, and I'm gonna press start. stabilizer on it already so we're gonna do this part first which is this side of the bag and we're gonna line it up close to where that zipper is and I'm gonna put the camera so you can see it and I want to make sure that I have it by warning it. it's covering all of the stitching so you can do it correctly let me just show you so you want it flushed to that part of the zipper, not on the zipper, 
put it right there. That's what you want it. My battery's already flashing. I need to get new batteries. Okay, so that's what we want it. Our footer is already down. All I have to do is press start.
reel and I'm gonna press start to so I can start doing the sand stitches. Everybody's sleeping. I'm the only one up. <clears throat> and it's early. They break night. I don't. It's summertime, so everybody goes to sleep late. I work better in the mornings, so I'm not a night owl. Alright, so. Next part we gotta put is the lining. Let me see if this is the right one. This one is right here. So this one is this one here. Gotta fold it in half. Right? And then oh wait, I have to cut this jump stitch right here. Get rid of that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six lines. So we gotta count down to the fourth one. One, two, three, four. And that's where you wanna line this like that. On that fourth stitch line. And you wanna make sure that it's under it, not over it. Like so. Alright, so I ended and I'm putting it on that fourth line, like I have mentioned. So you count one, two, three, four. And that's the fourth line. So we line it up there. And then you take your other one, which I have ironed it as well. This one is eight by three. And you put it right over that. Well, it's a little bit shorter than eight. That's good. It fits. And I'm just making sure that I am not over the stitch line. Like so, get a tape. Tape it up. Hope you can see this. Tape it on the other side. Tape the top one. Piece. To the bottom. Just show you what it looks like. So, can't get my hot up on the frame, but that's what it looks like. Okay. And, and if you want to make sure that you have that not on properly, properly. You take your zipper, your zipper, and you open it up. Oh, that's a jump stitch right there. I just cut my fabric, but that's okay, that's the outside fabric. You open it up, and you, when you hold it up to the light, you can see that it's aligned with this fabric. So your back fabric. Your back fabric should be aligned with your front fabric, and it's and it is. I'm gonna close my zipper back up. Everything is tacked down. I'm gonna put it back on the machine so I can do its thing. I'm gonna look 
under it, make sure that it didn't move, it didn't. I want to make sure of that because then it will stitch out boom. Okay. Put my presser foot down and press start. We need an elastic piece that's two inches. I'm gonna fold it. <clears throat> Another thing, we have to open up the zipper. So I'm gonna do that now. Cut off the jump stitch. here so the closed part where you fold it where you fold it at I don't know if you can see that so this is your thing fold it in half you fold it in half and you put it right here and you cut off this jump stitch as well and then you're gonna put it right here closed part inside of the bag, open part outside of the bag. Take a piece of tape. Add it here. And take another piece of tape and add it on this side so it can stay down. Do this as a can. Okay. Trying to keep it down. You open up my separate a little more. It's not sticking for some reason. piece to go over all your stitches oh I forgot to show my tiktok I forgot to film for my tiktok let me just show what I've done Last 
line up the back of the bag. We take this tape off. Oops. Change the needle. I'm gonna go back a few steps. So I'm gonna press on the minus. And bring it back to right there. I think that's good right there. I'm gonna press OK and then start again.
tear, tear away. See what we have here. Now we have to cut all this off. And what I'm gonna do is get my fabric scissors and I'm gonna go this way and then all the way around, around to this part of it where the opening is. We want to leave a, a nice piece of fabric here so we can tuck in. So that's what we're going to do now. Mm -hmm. Try to make sure that you don't cut the stitching. This is my liner, and then this liner, I'm trying to grab it. So these two liners I'm going to keep, and the rest I'm going to cut off. Now we're going to turn it inside out by grabbing the corners first so we don't mess up the stitching on the lining so we're going to do that turned it inside out and now we're going to grab our glue because we're going to glue this this inside of here we're going to put Let's cut this part because it's too, too much bulk. So I'm going to cut just a bit. And that way, I'm going to push it in. And then this side. Like so. I'm going to glue it shut. And I'm going to grab my little clips. After I glue it, I'm going to just put them there like this. I'm not gonna do the gluing part because that glue is kind of messed up. And it's gonna take me forever to get the glue out. But I just wanna show you what I'm doing. And you're gonna put it like that. And just let it sit for like five minutes. And then what we're gonna do after that is we're gonna go in here where the zip part is. And we're gonna take this lining out so we can be able to turn the bag inside out through the zipper um, opening. So I'm gonna do that now. And I need to cut the, also the um, jump stitches as well. Gotta get those out of there. So here's the opening. Jump stitch. And try to get this stabilizer out of here. It doesn't look ugly in there. Make more jump stitches. Alright, so now it's time to turn it inside out. 
so we can see what it looks like. And I'm just checking to see. There's a piece of tape in here. I'll take that out. There we go. But let's turn it inside out. strappy strappy thingy gotta cut all these little threads that are sticking out this one so what you want to do is attach it somehow so way here like that make sure you get it all the way through there you go and there we go super cute simple project and I hope that I sell okay at the at the pop-up shop and yeah so I'm just gonna continue making these and yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video and that I was clear with the um, with how I did it but if you want to see a better tutorial check out um parker on the porch they have a tutorial on it and yeah anyway guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up it really helps and if you can please subscribe if you haven't already and i will catch you in the next video bye